Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of Java that is 16.0.1 in a Windows 10 operating system. So let's begin. Now to install Java, you need to first download it. So for that just simply go to your favorite browser and in here just simply type JDK download. Yeah, then enter. And then you will be seeing this www.oracle.com is basically our first search result. So you just simply click on this Java AC download. And this will be now automatically going to redirect you to this official site of Oracle. In here if you just scroll down a bit, you will be getting this JDK download. And the version you can clearly see is Java AC 16.0.1, right. So you just simply click on this JDK download. And this will you know, automatically going to redirect you to this you know Java EC development kit 16 downloads. In here you need to just you know simply scroll down till end and here you can clearly see that we have Windows 64 bit installer. If you are using some other operating system let's say Mac OS or Linux or you know any other operating system then you need to simply proceed with those links. But I am going to show you Windows installer so for that just you know simply click on this jdk 16.0.1 windows x64 bin.exe file so you know, you know just simply click on that and this will you know automatically going to open this you know this license agreement so in here you need to just you know simply check this this is very important just you know simply check this and then just simply click on download jdk and this will you know automatically going to start your downloading jdk I have already downloaded it so just to simply cancel it and if I just simply minimize my browser and if I just simply go to my download directory you can clearly see this Java JDK 16.0.1 has been you know, rightly downloaded over here. To install just you know, simply double click on it and let us first minimize our download directory and you need to just you know simply click on yes to provide administrative privileges. And then you will be seeing this windows installer and this is basically you know your java jdk installation wizard. So in here to install you need to first simply click on next and this is going to be you know your installation destination that is the C program files java jdk 16.0.1. So you know if you want to change your installation destination you need to just simply click on change and you can do that but I am going to you know keep this all default so just you know simply click on next. And then it will you know automatically going to start installing your Java JDK. So it will take some time, maybe a minute or two to install, you know. So what I'll be doing is I'll be coming back after installing Java JDK. Yeah. So we'll come back and now as you can clearly see our Java JDK has been you know rightly installed. So you know just simply click on close. So now that you know your Java has been you know rightly installed, it's time to set our environment variable. This is very important. So for that what we need to do is you need to just you know simply go to this local disk C and then just you know simply go inside this program files then you will be getting this java folder. So just you know simply open that folder and then you will be getting this jdk 16.0.1 folder. So just you know simply open that and then you will be getting this bin folder. So again go inside that folder and this is basically you know your path. So just you know simply click on that address bar then right click on it and then copy right so now that you know you have done this much you need to then just simply click on this search icon then simply type environment so this will you know automatically going to give you this search result called edit the system environment variable so just simply click on that and then you'll, you'll be seeing this system properties has been you know rightly popped up over here so in here you need to just simply click on this edit environment variables yeah and this will automatically going to open this environment variable in here you need to just simply click on this path then edit and then new so now just again right click on it then paste so your program files java jdk 16.0.1 slash bin path has been you know rightly pasted over here this is basically you know what we are doing to set our environment variable this is very important guys you need to do that right so now that you have rightly set your environment variable, it is now time to set our Java home. This is again very important. So for that what we need to do is you need to now simply click on new. Then just you know, simply type the variable name as Java underscore home. Right. 
and then you need to provide your variable value you have just given the variable name as java home and now you need to provide variable value so for that again go to your directory so this is basically your directory go our directory back right and then again copy this path so this c program files java jdk 16.0.1 right just right click on it copy yeah now minimize it and then again you will be getting this new system environment variable so just again select that variable value then right click on it paste okay so now that you have rightly paste your path and also you have set your variable name just you know simply click on okay then again okay then again okay <clears throat> so now that you have rightly set your path if you just simply click on the search icon and just you know simply type cmd then enter and then if you just simply type java dash version then enter you can clearly see that java version 16 0.1 has been you know, rightly installed so if you see this type of command all this mean is your java has been you know rightly installed if you see some command like jdk is not recognized as an internal or external command or java is not recognized as an internal or external command all this basically mean is your java has not been installed properly so you need to again then follow my video properly how to set the environment variables and all so do that right so in this way install java jdk now um, what I am going to show you a simple hello world demo program so for that just simply create a new folder just simply write a folder name java so I have write uh, given a folder name as a java so then go inside that folder then again right click on it then new then new text document then simply go inside that text document right and now let's define a class name so class hello world this is very important you need to provide the class name as h as a capital right and then uh, just you know simply open a brace and then and then you know just simply type public static void min so write all the syntax properly uh, i will be also providing the syntax in the description so you don't need to worry about the uh, about that as well so public static void main string args yeah and then again uh, give a brace so inside that brace what we are going to do is we are going to you know simply printing hello world so system dot out dot print ln yeah then hello world right so click on file then save as then you know click on all file type this is very important you need to just you know simply click on this all file type then give a file name as hello world this is again very important it is always recommended to you know use the same class name that is you know provided over here so use that same class name as your file name this is recommended not you know compulsory one but it is recommended so you have you know rightly give your file name as a hello world then just you know simply click on this address bar then simply type cmd then enter and then you'll be getting this you know command prompt has been directly opened in your java directory in here just you know simply type java c so c basically means compile then your file name is hello world dot java then enter and okay so i have you know has this small typo so the strings name uh, should be you know capital sorry for that so again i recompile it and then you can clearly see our program has been you know, rightly compiled and our class file has also been created this hello world dot class right so now to run just you know simply type java hello world so that is basically you know our class name hello world right then enter and then you can clearly see this hello world has been you know rightly shown in our console all right so that is basically you know what is coming from this system.out.println hello world right so in this way you install java in windows 10 operating system i have already shown you how to install how to set the environment path and then i have also shown you a simple hello world code snippet in java program so that is basically all about this video i have this website called wikiscape.com in here you'll be seeing various tutorials along with some blogs that i have written 
so do check our website geekiskit.com so that's all for this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all